Lou, uh, we found a very interesting resource on the internet for programming books. Uh, some of our audience members have been asking us where they could go to find resources. And uh, this is actually just a really good place if they're looking for some foundational knowledge of programming. Uh, now, I, I, I should say, uh, if you can go to that, that website, Brian, uh, this, is, this is a site, 15 free books for people who code. I, I ran through it really quickly, but some of these I, I actually read, I actually really liked them. It includes the architecture of open source applications, the nature of code using processing, uh, learn regex the hard way, essential coding theory, which is crazy, crazy heavy on the math. It, it's actually a hard read. Unless you really like math, you're not going to like that book. Introduction to Computing, which is Python and Scheme, How to Design Programs, and Foundations of Computer Science. Now, my favorites in this entire list, there's two books that I really like, probably because I have them. 97 Things Every Programmer Should Know, it's an O'Reilly Media book, and The Foundations of Programming, which is all about .NET. Uh, now, Lou, these, these are free resources. People can download the ebook. Some of these come in PDF format. Some are actually in an ebook e format. You found some books of your own. Yeah, so there's there's an amazing uh, GitHub link. It's just a wiki of just an index of all languages out there, and that has every time you click on one of the languages, it'll give you a list of of free books that you can basically download whether a PDF or um, or ebook, any type of ebook. Some of them have multiple formats. You can download your Kindle or whatever. Um, and it's actually really good up-to-date books and there's the C++ book by Bjorn Sudashup and and there's um, a bunch of uh, C books there's you know Cl closure some of the new functional languages so there's a lot of there's a lot of cool stuff in here good resources to find and it's all free yeah and, and also I, I should throw in uh, one that I, I only recently started playing with is the Google for education portal I, Brian I believe there's a there's a, a link there. Uh, it's it's kind of new. It still doesn't have a lot of the knowledge that I would say is foundational, but it is a nice jumping off point if you if you want to look at f further resources. And in fact, the community that's attached to this is normally pretty good about answering questions that you might have. If there's a specific language or a specific question you have about a programming concept, uh, this this is a nice place to start. But uh, as you said, the uh, the resources available for a beginning programmer they're kind of endless. You just really have to jump in right yeah you just you, you just grab one and go i mean then and you'll figure out what book is good or not because you'll feel like you know this is boring and i'm going to move on or this is interesting and i'm having a good time so i mean it's really all dependent on uh, which one you grab